Hey there everyone, it's Anthony. I'm back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hope you're having a fantastic day. Weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. And yeah, I just wanted to hop on and do an intro clip. Um, I had the awesome opportunity to connect with a small shop recently, about a few weeks ago. And so this is going to be a shop spotlight uh, with the one, the only, Bex over at the Creativity Squirrel. And if you're not familiar with the Creativity Squirrel, um, that is a um, small shop, diamond painting shop based out of Australia. And I've been lucky enough to unbox a couple of kits from Bex over at the Creativity Squirrel, work on one of um, their kits, and I have another one in my stash that I'll be um, starting up soon. Um, but yeah, I wanted to um, touch base with Bex, learn a little bit more about um, her story as a, not only a business owner, but also an artist, um, and uh, just kind of learn more about the shop. And if you're new to the Creativity Squirrel or haven't heard of that shop before, kind of introduce you and um, encourage you to go over and take a peek. Um, I've had nothing but great experiences so far with Bex, and of course we'll get into it in that uh, spotlight interview. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do a little bit of an intro just to kind of welcome you to this. I'll be posting this as a premiere. So um, if you are in chat, <laughs> um, make sure to say hi. If you watch this in a replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay or any comments or questions that you may have. But I don't want to uh, belabor getting into the, um, the spotlight and interview. So let's go ahead and, oh, also um, depending on scheduling, uh, the Creativity Squirrel may be in the chat as well. So if you are here, Bex, hi, and thank you so much for being here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's cut to the interview that I was lucky enough to do with Bex over at the Creativity Squirrel. Let's go. Okay, cool. I think we are all set. All right. So, well, first of all, thank you so much much for agreeing to do this. I really, really appreciate it. I know it's something we've been chatting about for a little while now. Um, but I guess, you know, starting off, um, tell me a little bit about yourself and your shop. Yes. Well, well, first of all, thank you to you for having me. And also thank you for everything you do for this community. I love how you just highlight the small shops and highlight, you know, that there's a lot more out there than the big two. <laughs> So that I really do appreciate that. So a little bit about me. Obviously, I love diamond art painting. I'm a crafter through and through, have been for many years. I live in Australia, if you can't tell by my accent. And I love everything diamond art painting, so much so that I actually opened up my own shop <laughs> for it. So, yeah. That's excellent. That's excellent. And how long have you had the shop open for? Well, this iteration of the shop has been open oh, probably um, a little over a year now. So, yeah, because okay. January was the first year anniversary. Um, oh, Because wow. I used to have loads of little shops beforehand and they were, you know, weren't really doing much. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. And mm -hmm. my whole point, uh, I did a whole brand change and my whole um, vision was I was going to bring everything under the one umbrella and then maybe put a few diamond art paintings in there alongside and see how that goes. Well, things took a change. <laughs> the diamond <laughs> art side took off really well. Yeah. So the others have just sort of gone gone on the wayside for a while. But, um, yeah, it's all there. <laughs> That's exciting. That's exciting, yeah. And... You know, I kind of uh, came across your your shop, I think first be from comments that you left maybe on some videos, and then I think you had mm -hmm. connected with me via email or Instagram, and that's how I kind of came upon your shop, and mm -hmm. I was like, there is so much cool, funky artwork on the shop, and I can see a couple of um, completed pieces behind yeah. you uh, <laughs> from the shop, yeah. and so I was like, this is just awesome. I love seeing a big variety of artwork styles and different genres. And there was just a lot of stuff that I had never seen anywhere else on your shop. And um, mm -hmm. you're you're an artist as well, correct? 
yeah, yeah. Um, I am. I'm not I'm not the best artist, <laughs> but I am definitely <laughs> an artist. So that's how um that's how I sort of got the shot rolling actually with my own artwork, um and just putting bits and pieces together and just putting stuff out there um you know under the creativity school name so if you ever get a kit and it says copyright creativity school that's me <laughs> that's my artwork awesome. um so yeah i've put a bit of artwork into that uh before branching out sort of um asking any other artists to join me i just really wanted mm -hmm. to test the waters first because i get very yeah. nervous about this stuff putting stuff out there <laughs> Um, and I still do. So, and in regards to the variety, variety, definitely, that's how I didn't want to do what everyone else was doing as well. I wanted to be mm -hmm. something a little bit different about uh, what you can get in the kits. So I'm glad you um, saw that they were a little bit different to everyone else. That's what I was aiming for. I wasn't sure if I pulled it off, but clearly I yeah. have. <laughs> No, absolutely. Absolutely. You have. I was like, this is really cool. And yeah, there was just a, there was like, I think three or four images. I was like, oh, I love, there's a little bit of edginess and a little bit more dark theming in a couple of these images that you just mm -hmm. wouldn't see anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So I just, I thought that was really awesome. Um, so and that's really funny with the dark edginess. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. really no, go ahead. funny with the dark edginess because it really depends on the mood I'm in when I place uh -huh. my orders with the manufacturer. Like if I'm right. in a dark edgy mood, the canvases are going to be sort of that dark edgy. And the time they get in, like, you think, oh, God, what was I thinking? And then the very <laughs> reverse is true as well. If they're happy, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, okay, I can see where she was at when she ordered those. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm the same. I'm exactly the same way with purchasing diamond painting. Sometimes I mm -hmm. get in a mood where I'm uh, purchasing a lot more like darker images and that's just kind of the vibe mm -hmm. I'm in. And then they'll come in or I'm going through my stash and I'm like, I want bright rainbow colors and pinks. And I'm flipping through my stash and I'm like, what was I thinking? And then, and then if I ever, if I de-stash them, then I miss them because sometimes I go back into mm -hmm. those moods and I'm like, I just want something mm -hmm. dark. So I've learned to just hold on to them because eventually exactly. I'll come around again. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of touching on that, I know that we've talked a little bit about some different images and, and styles of artwork that you have on the site. Is there anything is there any specific direction as an overarching theme that you want, um, that you like to have on your shop or is it more eclectic? You know, what's the kind of vibe when you're selecting images to put into production? Do you know, it's really, I will look at an image and I'll have two thoughts. Would I want to do that as a diamond painting and will it work as a diamond painting? They're mm. just my two basic things that I go for and then I really don't think of anything else. Really, it's just... um. <laughs> it's a big way for me just to buy my own diamond art paintings really <laughs> choose the stuff that I want to do mm -hmm. um, and I think that really comes across in the shop and so that's just how I choose my images I don't sort of look at um, you know what other shops are doing or what's the um, you know what's the trend because a it's very mm -hmm. hard to keep up with trends by the time you know you get you know everything printed and B who wants to follow the trend be a trendsetter I say so you know, you just, all the images that are in there are just um, images that I personally would want to do as a diamond art painter. And so mm -hmm. I'll work on the assumption that there are other people that want to do uh, that style as well. Yeah. And I think that's, that's so smart as a shop owner is, you know, as opposed to chasing a lot of trends, then mm -hmm. I think you end up the market ends up getting flooded with a lot of the same, you know, cause everyone's mm -hmm. kind of, mm -hmm. there's always this kind of catch up to other bigger shops and that type of thing. So being able to kind of forge your own path and express your own style through what you put on the shop, I think is just really yeah. unique. And that's what I, I would hope a lot of shops do mm -hmm. because that's usually what resonates with me is, is being surprised, you know, by something mm -hmm. that I see on a site. Um, and that's usually what sticks in my mind as opposed to seeing oh, it's another of this thing, you know, mm -hmm. um, seeing exactly. some originality is, is really important. So I think exactly. that's awesome. Exactly. I like um, many years ago back in, because um, I also do creative writing and I, I won't tell you my pen name, but I am a published author. And I oh. was told years and years and years ago, because I used to try to write what the trends were. And one of my writing partners said, why are you trying to be A, like everyone else and B, you know, 
you losing who you are as yourself. And it's so true, it, well, in anything, but especially in anything creative, don't try and be like other people. Don't try and work out what the trends are because you're mm. never going to keep up with the trends. And as I said earlier, you want to be a trendsetter instead of following the trends. And it's more, I think, I, be, I believe, I think it's more authentic um, in their creativity process if you're just following yourself and doing what you like, because there's going to be other people out there that like what you do. So, you know, just be true mm. to yourself and just, um, you know, know that people, other people who like what you like are going to find you. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think with, um, you know, when it comes to artwork styles and selections, um, it really just, it runs the gamut. You know, some people mm -hmm. like some very, very specific styles. Some people like a big, a big variety. And I tend to be, mm -hmm. you know, fairly eclectic as well. Like I lean a mm -hmm. little bit more towards um, some just more quirky stuff or just things that I don't see everywhere else or yeah. like an old master's style. I tip, I go for those too, but I like to, I, I tend to search out those things that are a little bit more niche and maybe mm. a little bit more oddball or a little bit like kind of weird sometimes. So, um, so yeah, there was a couple images that jumped out on your, um, on your shop that I was like, oh, those are really, really cool. So, mm. um, and, that's and there was I a like couple of them that I saw that I liked that just, go ahead. Go on, no, you go. Oh, I was going to say, I, the couple of my images that I really enjoyed were your own pieces, which was extra cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. I always like, that's what, you know, I hide behind the other artists that they get on there as well, to be honest. It's just like, it's a mm -hmm. sense of, um, I don't know why, it's a security blanket. You ask anyone that's creative, and it's just like, I, we're our own worst critics, honestly. It's just like, we're right. so, um, we want people to see our work, but then at the other time, at the time, we don't want people to see our work. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. that. you know, you put so much of yourself into it. And um, it's really quite, mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite nerve wracking every time I put a piece of my own up there. Actually, it's nerve wracking every time I put any piece up there. Because I think, oh my God, have I, you know, you go through that whole, is it good enough? Are people going to like it? You know, <laughs> whatever. It's yeah. so nerve wracking. Yeah. <laughs> I choose to do it to myself, but, um, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't do it any other way. But, you know, every few months, every time I release those new kits or any products, I'm like, you know, oh, I'm going through turmoil. <laughs> hoping yeah. everyone will like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, I hope it's, you know, it's it's worth, you know, putting them up there and kind of letting letting them oh. live there. And, you know, it, it seems like the response goes over pretty well. Um, so, yeah, that's exciting. Oh, no, uh, despite the turmoil, it's a billion percent worth it. I love it. I love doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So tell me, you know, what would you say, you know, in the past, you know, a little over a year, year and a half coming up on, what would you say is the biggest thing you've learned since opening uh, the Creativity Squirrel? Um, you know, to be diverse in um, and be flexible in what you are going, what you want with the shop. Because mm -hmm. originally when I opened it, as I mentioned earlier, it was going to be all these other bits and pieces coming together. And I realised pretty quick that wasn't going to work with this. And Diamond Art tend to, was picking up on that side of things. But mm. also that being said, my plan for the shop was only ever to sell Diamond Art kits. I wasn't going to do anything else. And mm. originally as it, that started off being like that. But then I was getting messages from people saying, oh, I've just gone on to shop. Are you still open? There's nothing there because the kits had obviously sold out. Right. So I thought, oh, okay, um, well, what am I going to do in between um, getting in kits because they take so long to come in? So I right. diversified. I thought, oh, okay, I'll make my own wax. Mm -hmm. And that kicked off and I've, that's been getting really good reviews. I thought, well, what can I do next? And then um, I think it was either the oh, – I yeah, then got special drills in and then I got into ah. putty. So my whole point being is if you've got a plan, be prepared to diversify with it, um, go off track. Um, yeah. you know, add other things in there because you just don't know how things are going to turn out um, right. until you actually do it. So this way I've got all this other product on there uh, where pe people can buy while they're waiting for the kits to come in. Yeah. So it's just really branching out um, and, yeah, and just diversifying. 
be prepared to just go off in another direction to the one that you had originally planned to go in. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's super smart is, is having that flexibility and being able to pivot because I do see that where, where if a small shop has, has that one core product or just that single thing, that might be great. But if it gains popularity, stock falls through, you know, it works through, then there's that big delay, you know, there's that big mm -hmm. gap. Um, so mm -hmm. I think that's really smart because it's going to keep people engaged with the shop in some form or fashion and keep it at the top exactly. of mind. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so and it's interesting really that so the kits have sort of become secondary to what it was originally open for. So mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's quite good, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it's making the shop a lot more interesting and giving me a lot more um, – so I like doing the research into things and how to make stuff and, mm -hmm. you know, I've got like, it's like a little chemistry set I've got going on of, you know, how do I make putty and what's the best way to do it and all the different formulas and, yeah, it's been quite yeah. interesting. Well, I will say that you seem to have figured it out pretty well because I've been using, I don't, uh, uh, so I've got seven cents here that I got from you fairly recently. Was that earlier this week? Yeah, this that week? was very recent, yeah. Yeah, and I'm loving them. So um, I, it's so hard to show them on camera because I have like mm -hmm. background blur going on. Yep. Um, but I've got, I'll, I'll take a picture of them and I'll insert mm -hmm. them here somewhere on the screen. But I picked up the Birds of Paradise, Island Spice, Fig and Melon. Did you send me an extra one, by the way? Or did no, I? I don't, I don't know. I oh, okay. Well, I've, I got, no. I, I, I I'm excited to see them out. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no I didn't send it. You just. Okay, I just bought a lot. <laughs> but chocolate orange, sweet lemongrass, marshmallow mint, blood orange, fig and melon, which was awesome, island spice, and birds of paradise. I, I've been really enjoying them. I am a heavy placer. Um, I have a pretty heavy hand, mm -hmm. and I get very aggressive when I'm diamond painting sometimes. And so I have to find something that's that perfect balance of, like, of just stiff enough that it'll hold into the placer, but not so stiff that it won't actually grab and kind of cushion around the diamond. So this has been a really nice balance. And I've been, I've been working with a number of different scents and I'm super happy with it. So whatever formulation oh, you've nice. developed, congrats. Oh, uh, thank you so much for that. And I'm glad that you're a heavy placer because I'm a heavy placer as well. So it's really good to be able to test things because look, any if it works with a heavy placer, it's going to work with a, a light placer. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I was in there just jabbing it down. I don't know what you're like at the end of a um, session when you're doing uh, my wrists sometimes are so sore. So I was like, okay, you've got to chill. This yeah. is relaxing. You don't need to hold <laughs> this thing so tight. But it comes yeah. in handy when you're, when you're, you know, doing the research for this stuff to make sure a whole range of um, different type of places can use it. So as I yeah. said, if it works in a hard place, it's going to work in a soft place or so, and anyone mm -hmm. in between. So I'm kind of yeah. glad on my hard place. <laughs> yeah, and I use it. Um, so right now I have, what was it? Oh, the marshmallow mint is what I have mm -hmm. in my pen right now. And I have it in the single placer, and I think this is a seven, a six or a seven on this end, and it works yeah. fine for both. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been using, um, <laughs> well, attempting to use what are those really big ones? So how that DAC ones go up to? I think they're like a um, one of their largest ones. To, yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But I've been using it, um, and it works in there as well. So that's um, the putty works. My place, you know, so much. I'm going to get used to that, but um, <laughs> yeah, it works in that as well. So, and I'm finding with their places, you always pick up an extra one, no matter the size. Mm -hmm. So. Um, which is, you know, something to look out for, which is good when you want to get, you know, color blocking done. But yeah, the putty definitely works in the larger sizes as well. So yeah. 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 It's, it's been going great. I am looking forward to trying it in, um, I have a couple of, this is a diamond art club one, but I have some from Amazon that I still use from time to time. So I'm going to use it in a few different things, but oh, so excellent. far very, very happy. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. They're my babies. Yeah. I love them. I love making those because they're really good stress release as well when you make them. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm um, awesome. such a shopaholic as well, and I love just shopping for the new scents as well. 
But obviously, mm-hmm. I do that online, so you sort of think, um, "Oh God, what am I going to get at the back?" You know, when you, when it arrives. So, um, mm-hmm. but fortunately, I've got a good supply for that. that they're pretty tr- trustworthy with their scent, so what they say in their bottle is pretty much what you're going to get. So, oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I've been loving them all. I don't, I don't think there is one yet that I haven't tried, and I've been super happy with all of them. And I was telling you before we before we started filming that the chocolate orange is my number one so far. And that is not like me. Oh, uh, that is not like me, but I like it. <laughs> oh, excellent. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. More <laughs> chocolate stuff has just come out, so, you know, <laughs> bye-bye. I'll have to go take a look, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so tell me a little bit about... Um, you know, we've talked a little bit about bringing something new and different to the the diamond painting space, but you know, overall, what do you hope that your shop brings to the diamond painting community that might be a little extra special or a little bit different? Do you know what? Um, I have customers from all over the world, and um, and I, that's not me bragging. I really do, <laughs> and I love each and every single one. And when I get um, a customer from uh, country I haven't shipped to before I'm like oh you know mark that on the um on the um on the at I thought about on the map yeah <laughs> but my main priority when I when I opened it was for my Aussie buddies for my Aussie um diamond painting buddies because a lot of the shops as you know are based overseas so mm-hmm. we don't have a lot of um a lot of stuff here like and when we do order stuff in even from companies that don't print on demand you know, it can take three, four, five, six weeks for, mm-hmm. you know, a diamond art kit or some putty or whatever to get to us simply because we're so far away. Mm-hmm. Um, so my my whole thing I wanted to make an impact was to help my um, Aussie buddies here and also New Zealanders um, that, you know, my kits aren't print on demand. They're they're ready, ready to ship. So, right. you know, you can place an order and you're going to have it in two or three days yeah. um, for anything. So that's what I really wanted to um, um, focus on because I have my my local focus and my broader focus internationally. Right. Um, so I think I'm just for now wanting to um, sort of really try to give Australians more options um, of what they can buy for diamond art painting and fill that gap because there's a huge gap here in the market at the moment. So, yeah. I just want to, you know, so we we don't have to wait so long. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's exciting. That's awesome. I I have a number of, um, you know, subscribers to my channel and a couple of people on Instagram that follow me that are from Australia. And then I've seen, you know, a, a few other content creators pop up and even, you know, a shop or two. And I think that is a common comment is like that shipping time from from anywhere else is just that much more extended. You know, yeah. you're adding weeks yeah. on to the process. So that's And also awesome. expense as well. For, mm. I mean, mm-hmm. shipping, to be fair, anywhere in the world at the moment is expensive for everyone. So, you know, we can't, you know, we can't control that. But, yeah, we're, we just... Where we just happen to be, we're so far away. Shipping costs, time, you know. So I just wanted to fill that gap, um, and yeah, they're responding, which is a really good thing to see. So I'm um, so I always every time that you know you've made a sale, cha ching, <laughs> it goes mm-hmm. off on Etsy. I'm always like, oh my god, I can't believe people are buying from me. It's still after all this time, I'm almost <laughs> up to um, 600 sales now that oh, I'm still yeah. like. Oh my God! People are actually buying. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and it just—it's so humbling because I've had past shops, you know, that I, you know, have made had my stuff, and it was like uh, they haven't really done too well. But this has just kicked off, and I'm just so so happy that That's a great. it's kicked off, and b it's something that I absolutely love doing myself. Yeah. So you know I diamond art myself. I know you know I use all the products myself. Mm-hmm. So I'm just not putting stuff out that that I don't use. So right. yeah, it's been really good that people are actually buying it, and I'm so thankful to everyone that's doing that. It still humbles me. I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's totally you know it's totally justified, and you absolutely deserve it. You know it's. It's Thank been you. awesome working with you. You know, I've done um, a couple unboxings in the past, and now I've got the um, the putties 
Awards. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just been awesome. And I, I've gotten a chance to work with um, your your drills and your canvases mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. And correct, with, correct me if I'm wrong, everything, um, your drills are resin, correct? That's right. Or okay. resin, 100% yeah. resin. I never went down the acrylic. Um, I just didn't bother. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> um, I just knew yeah. I didn't like working with them. So, no, 100% yeah. acrylic. I'm not <laughs> 100% resin, mm -hmm. um, even for the specialty drills as well. They're all resin as well. So um, it's exciting. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. And, you know, the rendering quality looked fantastic and drill, drill field and symbol clarity was all there. Canvas material felt really good too. So I've got, um, what's my, I have a square drill canvas from you that I need to oh, get started it's, um, on. I know the one you've got. Is it? It wasn't Red Riding. Was it Red Riding Hood that you got? Red Riding Hood was the round. And then the square was... No, no, Bewitched was the round one. Oh, yes. It's Red Riding Hood then. Yeah, that I have in the yeah, square. So yeah. I need to get on that. I need to get on that. So, so, oh, so no, Russia, there so many you've got diamond paintings, four million so little on time. <laughs> I'm like four million going on at once. <laughs> There's me doing my one yeah. little one. Um, yeah, I was, I was no, looking at things like... I'm about a, I think I have the rest of the year already mapped out, but who knows? Who knows? I say that and then I'll get a wild hair and go out to the garage and be oh, like, I I'm do that. ready for something new. Yeah. Oh, I mm -hmm. do that. I think, okay, I've got all the diamond art kits that I need for this year. I don't need to do anything else um, or buy anything else. And do you know what? Oh, I'm going to buy that. Something sparkly. I like that. <laughs> <It's Yeah. just> <laughs> do I yeah. need this many diamond art kits? No, but I do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, so we, we've talked to, you know, we sometimes these questions we end up circling back on, but uh, just in conversation, but um, tell me a little bit about your, where your bit, we, we've discussed this, but talk to me maybe in a bit more detail about um, where you ship from, if as much as you're able to share about kind of what your process looks like mm -hmm. from the time someone mm -hmm. places an order. Okay, well, I ship from Australia. Um, <coughs> and don't let um, international people go, oh, my God, that's so far away, even though I've been saying that's so far away. Shipping mm -hmm. um, from Australia to the rest of the world is relatively fast, actually, mm -hmm. um, and I... Um, which is good. So when people, as I said, all my um, diamond art kits are made, uh, have been already printed, so they're ready to ship. So mm. I put in an order with the um, with my manufacturer. They print it all off, do what work their magic because they're fantastic mm -hmm. manufacturers. Send them to me, and then I'll list them on the shop, um, okay. and they're ready to go. So it's same with all the products as well as the same with um, the wax same with the putty same with the drills i have everything in stock here uh, mm -hmm. and they ship from um my warehouse which is behind me <laughs> one table <laughs> um, <laughs> six foot length table though so you know i'm expanding and i ship from here and you know i have two shipping times monday so if you place an order friday sunday sunday it'll be shipped out on monday and then um the rest of the days it will be shipped out on Friday. That changes a okay. little bit when I release Diamond Art Kits because they sell out really, really fast and I want to get mm -hmm. them out as quickly as possible. So I sort of do them ad hoc when they come in and sort of go mm -hmm. off the um, off the timings there. But, um, yeah, so everything's ready to go for Melbourne. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. I love knowing that everything's kind of ready right there, you know, ready to go. Um, I, I, I like shops too that do, um, you know, you purchase the kit, then the order is placed with the manufacturer. Yeah. I've seen that work as well. Um, but there is a nice sense of knowing that things are kind of moving really quickly and it's there, it's in the owner's, you know, the shop owner's hands ready to go. So I see the benefits to both sides for yeah, sure. There's no right um, or wrong on either yeah. way to do it. I just wanted for, as I said, for my Australian buddies to be able to buy something mm -hmm. and have it in a couple of days. That was yeah. the purely only reason why I was getting the um, kits in, you know, already pre-made. And look, I'm mm -hmm. also thinking of going out into um, the made to order as well on my um, 
out of stock kits because I'm getting a lot mm -hmm. of questions. Are you going to stock this one in? He's going to stock that one in. So I'm thinking of putting those ones up as pre-orders before I do yeah. an order for myself with the main shop and just yeah. getting people in. Look, here's your chance to pre-order the out of stock ones. Um, mm -hmm. You know, on the provision that you know it's going to take six to eight weeks. Um, right. But I'm always iffy about taking people's money <laughs> before I have a product. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, but other shops do it, so I just have to, you know, get out of that mindset, I guess. Yeah, and if you, I think if you have a really strong relationship with your manufacturer and they're they're kind of tried yeah. and true, then it takes a yeah. little bit of that pressure off. I could see if it was mm -hmm. like brand new fit manufacturer, haven't seen anything but the samples come through, then yeah, that could be mm -hmm. a little iffy. But if it's mm -hmm. if it's somebody that you've been working with, then I think that's oh, exactly. and pretty then, really, the I love my manufacturer. Yeah. Yeah. I can just contact yeah. them anytime and say, Oh, look, what about this, this, and this? And she's oh, she's so good. And you've seen the quality yeah. on it as well. I'm look, I'm not bragging yeah. here, but the, I think the quality of my kits are really, really good. It's fantastic, um, yeah. And I've you know, I've sampled a few others, um, manufacturers, um, you know, just to see what's out there. And yeah, they're pretty good, I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. When I did my unboxings, I was happy with everything that I've seen, you know, so I'm, I'm super excited. And I always make sure to take a little peek at Creativity Scroll once in a while to be like, okay, have I seen anything new? Is there something that I must have? So, yeah. What there so, is, awesome. um, there's a Hannah piece coming out. <laughs> Oh, so exciting! Like work. Yes. So in the next in the next drop, which should be in a few weeks, I think, because I know what stage that they've already sent me through the proofs on email. So I've already mm -hmm. so I know they're close to almost printing them. Then so Yay. yeah, I was going to say yes. So I had a piece coming out for you there, everyone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Make sure. Yes. Make sure that I'm in line. I'll have to keep an eye out. Yeah. Send me a message. <laughs> I will. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So um, we've talked a little bit about the fact that your, you know, your drills are, you know, 100% resin for both the round and the square. Are there any other key highlights of your products, be it um, the kits or any other offerings that you'd like to mention? Yeah, as I said, I've just started getting into more of, um, more of the special drills um, now. So mm -hmm, yeah. um, I'm working with my manufacturer uh, regarding the fairy dust drill. So I've just got a whole load of those in. Um, and they're, yeah. uh, they're, why do I keep saying acrylic? I never work with acrylic. They're all resin. They're all resin, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> I don't know why. And some other specialty <laughs> drills that they're working on that they've asked mm -hmm. would I be interested in. So I can't sort of say too much about that yet. So um, yeah, expect more high quality special drills coming in um, okay. very shortly, hopefully. Exciting. Yeah. And just kind of in general, you know, where do you see your shop going next? What does the rest of this year going into next year look like for you that you can share, of course? Yeah. Oh, do you know what, Anthony? I feel like with the shop, because everything's... Um, happening so fast with it i'm flying by the seat of my pants to be honest <laughs> with mm. most of the mm -hmm. time with most yeah. of it so i'm just going with the flow and just because i honestly really was not expecting it to kick off i really was not um so it's has mm -hmm. come to as a, a a shock and surprise to me so i'm sort of um uh, sort of making things up as I go along, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. about the different products. So, like, I'll get an idea in my head, like, oh, yeah, I'll do that next. So I don't really – but I'm like that with any creative thing. I don't really sit down and plan it out. I'm all of what they know as a pantser. I'll just, you know, mm -hmm. just think of something and then without planning I'll just do it. So, yeah. I mean, the main thing that is, as I said, will be coming in um, is the made-to-order ones on the restocks. Okay. So yeah. um, listing those two weeks before I put a main order in and letting people just, you know, purchase in advance. Um, but at the moment, no, just still, um, yeah, I haven't got any hardcore plans, but I'm always evolving. I always see stuff that I think, oh, I want to do that and then I'll try it myself. So, but I'm not a planner. That's the problem with me. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> But that being said, I might not be a planner. There's always new stuff coming out. So 
yeah. if it pops into my head, I'll do it. And I'm always open to suggestions. I have customers contact me, oh, have you considered doing X, Y, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, okay, I could do that. So I'm open to suggestions from my customers as well because, you know, my shop's for me as well, but it's for them as well, you know, mm-hmm. just for everyone. So I do listen to feedback and if it's, you know, possible to do, then I'll, yeah. you know, I'll make it happen somehow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And I think that's a good approach too. you know, to have that kind of more creative mindset to it as well, because it keeps things fresh. It keeps things interesting. Um, You know, there's not a lot of stagnation, you know, sometimes, you know, I see certain shops and I'm like, okay, you know, this is the 12th time that I've been on the shop and it's the exact same, you know, kids that were on there last time, which is fine, you know, to a certain extent, but it is nice to see things be kept a little bit fresh and to be changed up a little bit and some new ideas pop in from, uh, from time to time. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, so I really appreciate it. And it keeps me coming back to the shop to check in with you. Exactly. You know, exactly. Cause week, you don't know what's there. Week. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what's there half the time. There's my ideas that pop into my head in the middle of the night. And I've got a yeah. new product by the time I wake up in the morning. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so I, we've once again kind of touched on this and I've seen it personally in your shop quite a bit, but where do we see parts of your personality and style on your shop site or in the products in terms of the theming of the shop, designs, that type of thing? Oh, look, anything, anyone who knows me and goes into my shop will know that's my shop. Like mm-hmm. everything from the way I've packaged it to the scents I use to the um to the images I you know pick for diamond art kits that that's me that's my person personality that's who I am um sometimes it can be you know on the darker side sometimes it could be on the not so dark side that's just Mm -hmm. (laughs) that's just the way I am so every I'm in that shop through and through this is why look never say never but you're not likely to see, um, uh, you know, portraits of flowers on there or landscapes on there mm-hmm. because there's absolutely nothing wrong with those. That's just not me. It's right. not my personality. Mm-hmm. So you'll see it in everything, every single product that's on there, even down, as I said, down to the packaging, down to the logo. Um, yeah. It's me. <laughs> it's hundred yeah. percent me. I, it's really. This is just. Um, a big play, um, a big shop for me to shop in myself. <laughs> uh, and I always order extra diamond art kits for myself. Oh, do I want to do that one? Or do I want to put that to the side for myself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and I could kind of get that vibe too. You know, once I was, once I connected with you and learned a little bit more about the shop, like even down to the logo, which I'll put on the screen here um, so everyone can see. I just, it's so cute and fun and funky and like i said the artwork pieces that i saw that i've seen on your site that come that that come up um are just completely different they're not copy and paste Mm -hmm. you know from what's trending or what's the most popular so you do definitely get that sense of uh, um that that sense of the curation being very personal which which is awesome yeah yeah no i really care about um i'm a little bit of a perfectionist (laughs) So um, um, I take ownership of that. And so I really do care about what goes on, you know, goes on to that shop because it's my name on there ultimately as well. So mm-hmm. if I'm putting myself out there, yes, it's a creative t- creativity school and I'm hiding behind the name, but it's still my name. It's right. still me putting myself out there. So I want to put the best, you know, possible stuff out there. And um which is probably why I get so nervous every time something's released because it's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> it's the yeah. whole thing. But I, don't, I wouldn't change it. But I really do put a lot of effort into it. And I can I spend evenings just going through, um, you know, looking at different images. like Because I do it a couple of ways. I'll, I have a few artists that I consistently work with and I love their work and I will just keep going back. Others, I'll just, you know, oh, what are they doing on Instagram? And I'll, you know, look them up on Instagram and, you know, make connections that way. But also I use mm-hmm. a couple of different art, lic- art licensing companies as well that I can mm. reach out to. 
and I'll spend okay. hours just looking at the different images and you know seeing if, you know if it's going to fit into the shot. That's my favourite part, actually, to be honest, is looking at the images and connecting with the artists and yeah, getting new people on board. Yeah, that's awesome and that's so exciting to hear that. You know, one of my favorite artists is coming coming to your shop as well. Yes, so yes. Um, that's you know, exciting to hear. She was one of the first people that I bought an artwork from, and I haven't used it yet because I'm wanting to do it in um in a special. I, I want the, a special Alice in Wonderland themed package. But yeah, she was the first artist I bought from. So wow, yeah. that's exciting. I'll have yeah. She um yeah. Hannah has just been such an amazing inspiration for me mm -hmm. in terms of how someone can progress as an artist. And, mm -hmm. and I don't even know if she realizes it, but I think she is one of the most prolific artists in diamond painting, mm -hmm. the diamond painting mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. in terms of, you can really find her artwork at, at, at so many different shops and so many different styles of artwork and different levels of quality. You know, if you're looking for more value all the way to super premium, you can find a Hannah piece somewhere mm -hmm. there. And I just, I love seeing her artwork um, kind of find And that's what I love about, places. yeah. Exactly, and that's what I love about, um, I love all my artists, but this is what I love about her as well, is that she is a, she has made her artwork available to everyone. Um, mm -hmm. You know, to me as a very small shop when I first started and, you know, to loads of different small shops and larger shops and just hasn't sort of, and there's, again, there's nothing wrong with this. Um, instead of just focusing on the larger shops mm -hmm. out there and, you know, and not, not being able to get her artwork. So I'm always thankful to artists um, who make their artwork available, you know, yeah. especially to someone of my size shop. I love it. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. I can't wait to see it, and I will be I will be first in line. Oh, I think you will like this one. I think you'll oh, like yeah. this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think there's anything that I've seen that I wouldn't at least consider diamond painting that she's made, so. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think yeah. this is very you, so, yeah. Oh, exciting. Um, well, we've talked a little bit about some hints. You know, we've got some new artists coming to the shop. Um, we've got some made-to-order options probably making their way to the shop as well. Are there any other hints or clues or anything on the horizon that you want to let us in on? Not at this moment. Not at this moment. I do have a few ideas, even though I've said I'm not a planner, but I do like to hash a few <laughs> ideas out my head before before they release in the wild. Um, you know, but just stay tuned. There's always going to be new products being added, new, new scents and, um, you know, yeah, just stay tuned. Uh, there is a new wax coming. That's what, okay. yes. I'm in the process of doing that. Okay. So at the moment, my, there's a hard and sticky wax because it's hard and sticky. <laughs> there's, and then oh, okay, uh, I'm doing nice. a soft, yeah, so I'm doing a soft and sticky one, the sister one to it, so which will be soft and sticky. Okay. So I'm just working out the formula of that because I get a um, bit of feedback from people that, and I didn't really think of this, so it was actually quite good to have, like, issues with um, their joints and arthritis and they were saying they were finding the hard mm. one a little bit too too difficult to use so i thought oh, okay that's mm -hmm. really good feedback for me because then i can you know create something that they can use so it's a little bit softer for them so that's coming out soon that's still in the testing stage so yeah stay tuned for that okay. one that's coming out very shortly okay that's super exciting yeah i Personally, um, I have always had a tough time with waxes just because, and I'm sure mm -hmm. you're probably familiar too, because I'm such a heavy placer yeah. that it tends to want to just kind of come right out. Um, so the putties have always done me really well, but I am not opposed to trying new products. I'll always, if there's a new shop I'm exploring, I'll grab a wax or two just to see yep. if, you know, I find the right one. Because um, it's not a huge investment, you know, it's not a huge, a huge no, investment. No, exactly. Yeah. Well, do you just use it in your single placer? Because I just use the wax in my single placer. I've no, I, I've been. Okay. Yeah, I use your putty in both with no problem. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good to yeah. know. <laughs> um, yeah, good. So you even use the putty in the single placer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'm glad it works because yeah. I couldn't get that to work for me. So I'm glad that works for you. <laughs> Yeah, I will, um, and next time I do a whip and chatter, maybe I'll do a specific video. I will teach everyone how I do it because it does take a little bit of time. Like, yeah. you know, I feed it into the single placer and then I'd say the 
first 50 or 100 drills, I'm getting a little bit that comes out the side. Yep. But mm -hmm. I just kind of push and pinch off just the little bits. And you get to yeah. a really good sweet spot where you can yep. get a whole section done. But with firmer yeah. putties like yours, it's it's very simple. Um, soft putties, I can't really do that with because by the time I pick off the excess, it's not holding on to anything. You know, yeah. it's okay. not picking up the okay. drills. So. Your your okay. style of putty that's a bit more firm is kind of perfect for it, at least for me. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's good to hear. I like getting this feedback. And I like getting feedback from from you as well, because I know in the past you've given me some feedback about some stuff, and it's just been so, so helpful. Yeah, um, and I think that's another reason, you know, not only why I wanted to do a shop spotlight with you, but why I've just connected with you as a person mm -hmm. and as a business owner overall, too, is – that reception to feedback has always yeah. been incredibly positive. And, you know, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like it was like, oh, okay, sounds good. And then that comment note goes right in the bin. You know, I felt like yeah. there, you took it, you actually kind of processed it and there was some, you know, you took additional action as, aside from yeah. just listening to me and yeah. that goes miles and miles. So oh, I really good. appreciate I'm glad that. To hear. Now, I'm open to, look, because at the end of the day, I only know so much. I don't mm -hmm. know everything. Um, you know, there's, and there's other people that know a lot more stuff than me. Yes, I'm a shop owner, but that doesn't mean I know everything. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And people have their own different experiences. And with that, with that, um, the, the feedback you've given me, um, I'm really surprised that I took it back to the um, manufacturer who are really open to it, that they've now actually, um, they're still in the process of doing it because they've been busy. They're going to be printing out that one for themselves to do. So oh, okay. <laughs> the issues. So it's like, oh my god, okay. So she's going to be doing that in her spare time yeah. to see to you know, um, see what the issues were because it's it was a little bit um hard to sort of explain via um with the language barrier to mm, you know mm -hmm. to try and explain with pictures and words and. Um, whatnot, but they're very keen to get that sorted out. So, you know, that's what I like about that manufacturer as well. I can give them feedback without them turning around and saying, oh, no, 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 there's nothing wrong here. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, awesome. always give me feedback. I'm always open to it. I mean, if it's like, oh, you're crap, I hate you. Thanks, don't give me that feedback. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, always open to it because that's how you grow and learn, you know, and become mm -hmm. better in anything. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Excellent. Well, you know, that's all I had for you. I, I really appreciate you take once again, taking the time to do this. I know this isn't um, for a lot of people. This isn't a commonplace thing or something that is just like, sure, I'll pop on and film and talk about myself and my business and all of that. So I appreciate when any shop or artist is willing to, to, um, to take the plunge and dive into this. And I know that not only my viewers, but um, other people that stumble upon this channel um, really appreciate a little peek, peek behind the scenes, get a chance to learn yeah. a little bit about you and your shop and um, develop some more connections with the folks, uh, some of mm -hmm. these smaller businesses. So I think it's yeah. important. No, well, thank you for having me. And look, I, I've really calmed down by the end of it. I was so nervous at the start because they were like, <laughs> this is way, way out of my comfort zone but yeah. i'm trying to do more stuff lately that really pushes me out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. um and look i've survived yeah <laughs> yeah survived. I, survived. I mean i'm not as at the start i was like you got i've got my torn up tissue here i'm like at the start I'm going, oh my god <laughs> no, you really relaxed me good you really good. relaxed that, me so that's... you're really really good at this anthony you really are oh i love your I channel bet. so much I love seeing yeah. um, Apollo. Oh, he's so beautiful. I love yeah. your, uh, your skit that you did um, uh, about your diamond oh. party, diamond art party stuff. That was hilarious. That was the funniest thing <laughs> I've seen on the internet. I'm oh, not going to lie. Like <laughs> I didn't realise that was an Australian accent you were doing until after I after the fact. I thought, oh, he does a really good British accent. That's really good. <laughs> until after the fact yeah. you said in your um, <laughs> I was just, I thought, oh, were you? I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, horrible. Man. I'm horrible at all of that oh, stuff. So, oh, yeah. You uh, were brilliant. As long as it. 
<laughs> as long as it made you laugh, that's all that's supposed to be. Oh, it was. <laughs> was and I thought, point. yeah, I'm going to buy all of them for $150 each. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, oh, I laughed. Goodness. You should do more stuff like that. And don't worry about what other people are, you know, the response you get from that. Look, it's your channel. You can do what you want, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah. You know, we all need a laugh like that. <laughs> it was just so funny. He called me at the start thinking, what's he doing? What does he mean he's doing his own putty? Yeah. Said, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it was originally supposed to. Well, let me, Um, I'll just going to say one more thank you and then I'll end the recording and then mm -hmm. we can keep chatting though. Uh, but that'll yeah, end cool. at least the, the part cool. that I need to edit. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Once again, you know, thank you so much for taking your time. We really, I really appreciate it. And I'm sure my viewers will really appreciate it. And um, yeah, if there's any other future updates uh, for the shop or anything like that, let me know so I can always share it on Instagram and on my community tab. Perfect. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, I hope I thank you so much, Bex, for um, being will, a willing participant in this shop spotlight series that I've done over the past uh, year, a couple of years. Um, anytime I get the chance to connect with awesome small shops, I like to do that and kind of highlight them and lift them up. Um, so thank you so much. And yeah, it was awesome to learn a little bit about Creativity Squirrel. Bex's journey, not only as a business owner, but also as an artist and an author, which is so awesome. Talk about a creative person. That's so cool. And so um, I love doing this stuff. And I love that there's some small shops within the diamond painting community and business owners that are willing to chat with me so we can all learn together a little bit more about them and just create a little bit more connection, which is awesome. So um, yeah. Uh, that's really everything, I suppose. Um, if you have any questions or need any clarification about the products and offerings over at the Creativity Squirrel, make sure to head over to the Etsy shop where, um, where the Creativity Squirrel is, and I'll make sure to leave in the description and hopefully, if I remember, throughout chat to pop in that link so you can head over and check out the products that they offer. Um, I've been a huge fan of the Creativity Squirrel Putty recently, the scented putty. There's so many awesome options there and it's quickly becoming one of my new favorites. So lots of cool stuff to be had there. And um, yeah, once again, any questions that you might have, uh, make sure to reach out to Bex. You can also reach out to me and I can field those questions over to her as well. But um, she's always been really, really friendly and welcoming and engaging. So um, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, thanks again so much, Bex, um, for taking the time to uh, connect with me, connect with everyone here in the community so we can learn a little bit more about the Creativity Squirrel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. Otherwise, happy placing, and we'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.